Daddy, yeah, Daddy will let you borrow my pocket, okay? Daddy's sweet like that. And I looked up, and all I see is it's sitting there slowly creeping back, and it's like, oh crap, so <laughs> doing today we're gonna be working on clearing some land farther back our driveway so that we can have a permanent spot for our RV to move to we still have quite a bit of mulch that we need to clear out let me show you so this is the, all the mulch we have left from that huge pile that went all the way across and it's really maybe I don't know about 15 feet of mulch left let me get over here so y'all can see so there's the back of our RV and it stops right here and what's mainly in there is a tree now if you've been a long-term watcher of this channel then you may remember the time where we were clearing trees up here at the front of our driveway right before we pulled the rv on and one of the trees fell in the brush pile and we were on such a time crunch that we left it it got buried under more brush and we weren't able to find it we got our rv on here but now we are coming down to that tree. So we're going to have to work on that. But we really need a break from the brush. So we're going to continue on with the same project of getting our RV moved to its permanent spot. But actually going ahead and clearing the permanent spot we'll be moving to. So that's what we're going to work on today. Kenneth has actually beat me out here and he's already getting started. So let's go see how far he got. Now I know lots of places have been having crazy weather here lately. We went from 80s to like 40s and stuff. Today it's 50, so it's not terrible, but it's still a little chilly. But we did have a tree come down right here. And it went right across our home site layout. We had already planned to take this tree down anyways. Um, it was on our list of things to do. But it decided to come down before we were ready for it, so. You got lots of dirt. You want to say good morning, friends? It's Hans. It's So this is going to be the permanent location for our RV. Let me show you where we're at. The orange line there is the end of our driveway. I marked it for the septic inspector whenever they come. So they can see where our driveway ends. Directly across from here is our home site. And then the RV will be behind me. I have worked on clearing some of the smaller stuff recently. Just kind of had an hour or so left and just wanted to get some work done. But Kenneth has been working out here this morning while I was editing video. So, see what he's got done. Yeah, okay, so the RV is gonna go right here, but it's not going parallel to the driveway long way. It's, it, you're putting it perpendicular to the driveway. Well, that's what perpendicular is, so. <laughs> I'm joking. But, yeah, that it's, way I can just back it down the driveway and back it into I its little did. hole. You don't think that'll look I funny? Did. Well, would it look funny? Nobody will see it. I'll see it. Hey. That way, I ain't trying to take a football field and Trying to turn this thing around. I'm I'll probably not going to take all the solar stuff and move it anyway, so. Do not put a stick in my pocket. Put it, no. Put I don't it. want it in my pocket. Put it in your pocket. I don't know that he has pockets. No, probably not with those. Uh oh. No pockets. Go, no put, it in pocket. <laughs> Go put it in daddy's pocket. Yeah, they will let you borrow my pocket, okay? they sweet like that. <laughs> I dropped it! You dropped it! Be alright, Daddy's got him safe, right here.
ね。Come help me cut this vine real quick. And there's already a big difference. It's like wide open right now, except for of course this tree in the way. But this front part is pretty wide open. Should keep going backwards with it. And there's what? One, two, three, four, five trees up front that need to come down. You're doing a great job cutting that tree down. Okay, so I think it's much easier to see from the back inside what we have cleared today. You can see, hey babe, back up to the opening. So all the way over to where Kenneth is, is where we have started clearing. That's the edge of the wood line that we had previously cleared for our driveway. So it's 60 feet long that we have got cleared so far. And then we are working on clearing sideways. He's got those trees there and these here that need to come down and then some over here to this side as well. And then we'll have a big open area so we can, ooh, and we have to get all this brush mulched of course.
You need me to help? Stay right there. Where are you going? Yeah, I said that. I couldn't figure out why the hell it wasn't falling. And I looked up and all I see is it's sitting there slowly creeping back. And it's like, oh crap, so I pulled the saw out. so it is day three um i just want to wrap up the video show y'all what we got done yesterday the camera died and we just kept working until the chainsaw ran out of gas so we got a little bit more than what you got to see but of course it's not finished so look for wednesday's video where i will hopefully be able to show you a finished permanent rv side with the rv in it fingers crossed hopefully that works i'm ready for it Ready to have the RV away from the road. Ready to have it a little bit more secluded where we don't have to hear all the traffic and see all the people going by and all that fun stuff. So I'll be ready to have the first project of 2022 completely finished. We're not there yet, but we are getting close. So let's see what we got done. You can actually see now where the RV is gonna go. We got these trees down right here, this tree right here down. This one down. This brush pile is what we plan to start working on today. We have this one and a smaller brush pile behind it. Once we can get down this big brush pile and the smaller brush pile behind it, we have seven more trees that have to be come down. The limbs of them have to be mulched and they have to be cut into either logs or firewood. And then our goal is to rake it all out, try to level the ground as best as possible, cover it in wood chips, and then get gravel and cover it in gravel, um, and then pull the RV onto that. So that's what we got to do. Brush pile, brush pile, seven more trees, level the ground as much as we can, cut out any stumps, push in some wood chips, cover that in gravel, and then hopefully move the RV back here. The rest of this over here will be coming down, but not before we pull the RV in. Just, it's just not a priority right now. We have so much going on that as long as we can get the RV in the permanent spot, we will be happy and that'll be one more box checked off our list. Because remember, we have five projects we need to get done 
by the end of February. There's a lot of stuff and this is only the first one. If you have not seen the videos where I go over the five projects and what's happening on the homestead, I will link it down below. But we gotta get those done. We gotta get this one done so we can move on to the next one. Cause we are on a time crunch here, guys. All five projects need to be done before we can focus on building our off-grid home. So check back Wednesday at eight and see how we're doing here. Monday at eight, we will be going over the Three Rivers Challenge, how we've done this first week, what all we've made, and if we've stayed within our budget. So if you are wanting to follow us on the Three Rivers Painter Challenge, make sure you're checking in Monday at eight on my Cook With Me Mondays. That's where I'll be covering that. And then we'll see y'all back for more RV site clearing and stuff Wednesday at eight. Of course, a video would not be complete without somebody signing off with me. So, you ready? Bye, Randy. Bye, bye, <laughs> So, we'll see you next time. Yeah. You want to see them next time? I'm not done. We'll see y'all next time. Bye, bye, bye.